Hey, Rick Usabel again from Cabaret Design Group, talking today about ergonomic bar design for maximum bartender efficiency and profits. Welcome to another edition of Design Buzz. Today we're going to talk about ergonomic bar design for maximum bartender efficiency and profits. If you follow the ergonomic design criteria in this video, you'll be able to maximize your bartender efficiency and profits. So the first question is, what are the best dimensions for bar design? As I've written before, bars can be thought of as factories that make drinks. Manufacturing companies invest heavily in making their factories efficient, and this includes implementing the principles of ergonomic design. Here we have a bar that we just completed the design of, and this is implemented all of these particular principles. Ergonomics is the study of workers and their environments. When you incorporate ergonomic guidelines to maximize worker efficiency, you give yourself a chance to succeed in maximizing profitability. With ergonomic design standards implemented into your bar layout, your bartenders will have much greater efficiency of movement and far less strain and fatigue, leading you to maximum bar profits. I've put together a downloadable sketch that you can find on my blog titled Standard Universal Bar Clearances for your reference to better understand the ideal bar clearances for ergonomic design. I'm going to show you a summary of these design standards in the following screen. Here is a sketch of a typical bar cross section with various clearance dimensions shown. As you'll notice, the upper dimensions are expressed in English and the lower that which in parentheses are in metric. For simplicity, all of my will be for the English units. And if you want to have a copy of this of your own, and you can review everything that you see here, it's available for download on the blog. So here's a summary of these design standards. First, the height of the bar front should be between 42 and 45 inches. The height of the back bar should be the same as the front bar, 42 to 45 inches. The overall depth of the bar top should be between 24 and 30 inches. The inside edge of the bar should overhang the bar die by 11 inches. The back bar aisle should be between 31 and 37 inches. And the height of the highest reachable shelf on the back bar should be between 69 and 72 inches shown here. This is the shelf for what we call top shelf flicker. Other stocking shelves can be higher, but these are not functional for bartending, only for stocking. And you should maintain 18 inches from shelf to shelf. A two-tiered bar liquor display should be between 9 and 10 inches in depth, and each step should be 4 to 5 inches in height. Allow 18 to 24 inches for patrons sitting at the bar to the aisle behind them. Aisle space directly behind the bar patrons should be 30 inches. Drink rails, should you choose to have them, should be between 10 and 12 inches in depth, and the height should be the set at the same as the height of the bar top between 42 and 45 inches. Allow 18 inches for people standing in front of a drink rail if you have no seating and 24 inches if you include stools. The overall depth between the edge of the bar top, the outside edge, and the wall behind it should be between 76 and 90 inches. Getting back to uh, bartending aisles, this 31 to 37 inch dimension that we show here, 
In terms of aisle sizes, I've seen just about everything. Bars designed for small rooms present different challenges, and I'll be the first to tell you not to pass up an opportunity to exploit it. Sometimes you just have to work with what you've inherited. But for the best operating bar, it's imperative to maintain 36 inches for back bar aisles, especially for bars that utilize bar backs in their operation. 